How do you find the minimum value of a quadratic function? For example, if we have y equals 3x squared minus 6x plus 12, the minimum value may not be clear when the function is in standard form, but we can re-express it in a different form in order to make that minimum value more visible. In this lesson, you will learn to rewrite a quadratic function to reveal the minimum value by completing the square. Let's go ahead and review. Suppose we have our function. Our x squared term is positive, so one of the things that we know is that if we sketch a graph of this function, it's going to look like this. We're going to have a minimum value right here, or a minimum point. Can we find the exact x and y values at this point? We need to rewrite our function first by completing the square. Now what would be a common mistake students make? So here's our function. The leading coefficient is not 1. So before you complete the square, you want to make sure that this 3 right here has to be factored out, okay? So you need to factor it out from your x terms. Now we can proceed into, uh, with adding a number inside the bracket and subtracting a number outside. Take half of negative 2, that's negative 1, square it, we get 1. We have a number outside here, the 3 that we factored out, so before you subtract, make sure you distribute that. So 3 times 1 is 3, and so you do minus 3, okay? Alright, here's a little reminder for you. Now let's bring down the 3, and the trinomial, we can factor that into x minus 1 quantity squared, and 12 minus 3, that'll give us 9. Now if you forgot to distribute, you're going to end up with 3 times x minus 1 quantity squared plus 11, okay? And that's not equal to the function that we started with. Alright, let's do um, y equals 4x squared plus 16x minus 22. Leading coefficient is 4, so let's factor 4 from the x terms, okay? We can take half of 4, that's 2, square it, we get positive 4 distribute, we're going to go ahead and do 4 times 4, that's 16, so minus 16. Bring down your 4, and let's factor uh, the trinomial, and that's going to give us x plus 2 quantity squared, and negative 22 minus 16 is going to give us negative 38. Alright, so we now have two terms, right? Now, this part of our first term is a squared number, and a squared number is always positive unless it's zero. Which means any positive number I add to negative 38 will make negative 38 larger. If I add zero to negative 38, my y value is going to be negative 38, okay? So adding a non-negative number makes the output bigger or equal to negative 38. So let's think about a number we can substitute in for x that'll make our squared term 0. How about 2? Negative 2. So negative 2 plus 2 is 0, squared that is 0, times 4, that's going to give me 0 minus 38. So 0 is the smallest number we can add to 38, but negative 38 is the smallest y value that our function can have. Okay, so that's our minimum. So, adding a positive number to any number makes that number bigger, so the function will have a minimum value when the square term is zero. Let's look at this with a uh, table of values and pick a couple of number for x. So if we plug in negative 3, we're going to get negative 34. Substituting negative 2 for x will give us negative 38. 0 gives us negative 22 and 2 will give us 26. Here's our minimum value right here. So we can conclude that the minimum value of y equals 4x squared plus 16x minus 22 is negative 38 when x equals negative 2. So it was really important for us to rewrite our function into y equals 4 times the quantity x plus 2 squared minus 38 because it makes that minimum value so much easier to see. In this lesson, you have learned to rewrite a quadratic function to reveal the minimum value by completing the square.